By the end of this video, you will know how to make a basic A-line skirt pattern from start to finish in clothes. You can apply this pattern drafting method onto hand drafting pattern as well as onto clothes drafting. For example, I'm going to use clothes software to draft these skirt patterns. You will not require to know clothes software to learn this simple drafting method. I will walk you through step by step on how to draft these A-line skirt patterns. These include measuring your body, picking the correct avatar size for your skirt, sewing it in clothes, fitting the skirt onto the avatar, then apply the fabrics onto the skirt all done in clothes. So to unfold these pattern pieces, first I'm going to convert these two lines right here into the baseline. To do so, I'm going to once again come to this edit pattern tool, click on one and then hover the mouse to the right and then select this edit pattern tool. After that, I'm going to come down here and then my key selects both of these internal line and I'm going to right click and select convert to baseline. After that, I'm going to, you see this point right here, I'm going to, my key selects that point and I'm going to press down the delete key on the keyboard to delete. After that, while this edit pattern tool is active, I'm going to click one on the center line and then right click. I'm going to select unfold. I'm going to repeat this step with this waistband. Just come over here. While the edit pattern tool is active, I'm going to click one on the center line and then right click and then select unfold. After that, I'm going to convert the center point into curve points. To do so, while this edit pattern tool is active, I'm going to my key select this point right there. And then right click and select convert to curve point. Next, just place your finger onto this mouse pad and then just slide it forward to zoom in. Then I'm going to press down option at all and left click to pan it to the right just a little bit. So I'm going to, you see right here, I want to turn this baseline back to the internal line. To do so, I'm going to come over here to the trace pattern tool, click on it. Then I'm going to come over here and then click on this line right there. And then press down shift and click on the next line. While the shift is pressing down, I'm going to continue clicking, clicking all these lines. Then I'm going to press down return or enter on the keyboard to turn that into the internal lines. Okay, as you can see, we have line right here that it's not connect to each other, okay? So I'm going to connect this line together by come over here to this edit pattern tool, click on one and then hover the mouse to the right and click on this edit pattern. After that, I'm going to just, my key select both of these point and I'm going to right click and I'm going to merge to average, okay? I will do the same with these two points right here, that's overlap point. Let me zoom in just a little bit. As you can see, this is not one point, it's more than one point, okay? So I'm going to just my key select both of these points. Right click, and then I'm going to merge to average. Now we can convert that point into curve, okay? So once again, my key selects both of these points and then right click and then convert to curve point. Now, as we can see, these lines are connected to each other. So now it's only one line for the sewing line and then one line for the folding line. And that's what we want. So we just turn a back skirt block and a back waistband into the front skirt block as well as into the front waistband.
Next, I'm going to make copy for this back skirt block, okay? So to do so, I'm going to just press down option all on the keyboard, left click to pan it over just a little bit. Then I'm going to zoom out by place my two finger onto this mouse pad and I'm going to slide back out to zoom out. And I'm going to use this tool right here, transform tool, click on one to select. And I'm going to marquee, select both of these skirt patterns. And I'm going to right click and come over here, select symmetric pattern with sewing. So as you can see, we just create this pattern piece that we link with one another, okay? So next, I'm going to just press down shift and left click to place this pattern pieces that we just made copy of. So after we make copies and unfold our pattern pieces, next I'm going to show you how to arrange these pattern pieces 